Ahoy hoy, Jesse Tattoo here, and welcome aboard. Today, I'm going to show you how to pirate a ship solo in Sea of Thieves. And real quick before we get started here, um, if you can do me a favor and go down there and like this video. And do yourself a favor and subscribe if you want more of this pirate action. Now, first things first, you start off in the bar and you got to go and get yourself a map. And if you don't know how the map systems work, it's pretty basic. Now, there will be a few ways to obtain maps, um, but for this example, we're going to go with the Gold Hoarders Union. Um, you just go to the tent and you buy a map. And those maps come in two varieties. Either they are a physical map with an X marks the spot or it's a riddle and you just got to follow the clues. Next step before you go anywhere and leave port or even get on your ship is to restock your ship. Run around town and look at barrels and grab cannonballs and bananas and boards and take them back and store them on your ship. Trust me, you're going to want a lot of cannonballs and a lot of boards. Now, once on your ship, all you got to do is uh, vote for a voyage. And since you're solo, you're the only vote that matters. <laughs> Now, once you have an actual voyage, you can go and take a look at your big charter map and uh, figure out where you got to go. Um, if it's a riddle, it'll tell you the name. If it's an actual X marks the spot map, you just got to look for the shape of the island. Then you just got to figure out your bearing from where you are to where you're headed and which direction you're going, whether it's like southeast or west or whichever. Okay, now, due to the fact that you are a solo captain, you need to do everything yourself. You need to hoist the anchor. Now, get the wheel steering a little bit in the correct direction, and then lower the sails. You need to angle the sails into the wind. Now, this is a very important tactic that a lot of people overlook, but just look up at the wind, and you can see which direction it's going, and then use the other... Uh, I don't know the name of the thing, but the other buckle here, and uh, angle the sails as best you can into the wind. And if you get it close, it will usually grab some wind. The better the angle and the lower the sails are, the more speed you got. Now, I cannot stress this enough. Be on the lookout for other ships. Players are brutal in this game. There is no friends. There is no ahoy matey. How you doing? It is open fire the second they see you. So you need to be very careful before you leave port to look around and while you're out be constantly on the lookout for uh, other ships. Also pro tip at nighttime turn off all of your lanterns otherwise you're a giant beacon and other players can see you like a lighthouse from miles and miles away. Okay, now, being a solo captain, one thing is very apparent, is time is everything. You do not have enough hands or time to do much, so you need to be well prepared ahead of time. So, always keep your cannons loaded, and another good trick is while you're at the helm, if you just turn around, you can see the map down below without having to run all the way down below deck to look at your map. Now, you can't access it from there, but you can have a peek at it, so that'll save you a bunch of time too. And once again, speaking of time, I cannot stress the importance enough of angling the sails constantly into the wind that keeps you at maximum speed. Now, as you start approaching your island destination, first thing I would do is slow down your sails a little bit and uh, have a look around. Pull out your scope and have a look and make sure that there's no other pirates on the island already that you're going to or around you. Um, that might see you going to that island. Now, if the coast is clear, think about your escape route before you park. Think about parking in the direction that you want to head when you leave so that you're ready to go. You can jump on and just go. Now, once you've dropped anchor and you're ready to hop off, you can either swim to shore or you can use your cannon to blow yourself in the middle of the island. Again, a time saver. 
Now that you're on the island, depending on your map type, if it's an X marks the spot, just use the landmarks, look for big rocks, and use the, um, the compass to know the direction. The map's north is always north. So if you look at the map and you look at your compass, you should be able to triangulate where these X's are pretty easy and just start digging. And uh, the riddle ones are a little bit different, but they're pretty literal. So if it says something about a mermaid, look for a painting of a mermaid. If it says something about a drunken sailor, look for a skeleton with a bunch of bottles nearby. They're pretty self-explanatory, and you should be able to get through them fairly easy. Now, once you've dug up the chest, you need to hightail it out of there, um, because there is other pirates that want your treasure. And speaking of treasure, there are a bunch of different types of chests. Now, I'm going to go through them, what there are available in the game at the time I made this video. So here we go. Here's what we got so far. We got the Castaways chest, the Seafarer's chest, the Marauder chest, the Chest of Sorrows. I'll get back to that one. The Chest of a Thousand Grogs. I will also get back to that one. And the Captain's chest. In that order is a, their approximate values as of now. Okay, now first side note, the chest of sorrows. This thing is a depressed chest. <laughs> it's got a curse on it and it cries. There is no way to subside it, it just cries. And it will sink your ship, it will flood it. So you need to bail water constantly. As a solo person, this is kind of difficult. And there is one trick you can do, is you can put it on your back, you can grab the chest, and go and sit and hang off of the ladder on the side of your ship, and it will cry into the ocean instead of onto your ship. Or you can just bail water like crazy for a few minutes until it stops crying. But is a very high-valued chest, so it's kind of worth the trouble. Also, a little quick pro tip, leave it on the beach until you're ready to go, and uh, it'll just cry onto the beach. And then the second chest I needed to talk about was the chest of a thousand grogs. This chest is actually kind of fun, but can be very challenging. When you pick it up, it makes you drunk as a pirate. You can barely walk, you can barely see, and it's difficult to get anywhere with this chest. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of fun. Speaking of booty, you should keep your eye out on all of these islands for random chests. There are chests of all rarities just sitting in the bushes sometimes, or deep in caves. Uh, definitely keep your good pirate eye open. Speaking of keeping your eyes peeled, also keep an eye on the beaches. There are bottled notes. Um, there may be future things in there. For now, there are bounties for skeleton pirate captains. And uh, they offer some pretty awesome skulls that will be, uh, I'm assuming, sellable for some rather large rewards. Now, as you're ready to leave the island, also scout out again. Scout the waters around you. Take a good look around and make sure there's no other ships nearby. And then hop on and hightail it out of here. Now, plot a course for the nearest outpost, but beware. Take a good look as you approach to make sure there are no other ships docked at that outpost, because um, you do not want somebody taking your, your, your hard-earned booty, or killing you, or sinking your ship. Okay, now, as you park back at the outpost, get your uh, most expensive and or crying chests off of your ship first. You don't want it sinking in the bay from tears or other looters grabbing your expensive chests while you took the cheap ones first. Always sell your highest price first, just in case. And now that you're back, you can sit back, have a brew, get drunk as a skunk, and enjoy your rewards, because you can even die now. It doesn't matter. They can sink your ship. You've got the rewards. You've got the experience. You've cashed in. It is time to celebrate. And now you can go do it all over again. Now, there is one thing I didn't mention, is how to deal with other players. Now, that's like a pretty much a whole other video. But the reality of it is, run. Do not engage other players as a solo. As much as humanly possible, just stay away from other players. Um, use the wind to your advantage. Use anchor drops to quickly change directions and pull UEs. Um, 
Um, th there, there's a lot of tactics uh, to dealing with other players as a small two or single man crew. Um, and it's actually very difficult. Um, if you want me to go over some tactics, let me know in the comments below and maybe we can get into that in another video to come. Right on. So I hope you learned something. I hope I helped in some way. And if I did, don't forget, please, to go down there and like the video and uh, subscribe if you want some more. So keep your hold full of booty and wins in your sails. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.